one of the form drivers, if not one of the top two in Australia this year, well definitely so with his World Series form, is David Murcott. David, congratulations on second, but unlucky on missing out on the win. Uh, how are you feeling about it all now, looking back? Yeah, you know, well, obviously it's in the past now, you know, like we gave it our best shot, uh, you know, it wasn't only last weekend that killed us, you know, we had a couple of nights here, you know, the first night here we uh, turned it over. You know, uh, you just got to be consistent on the, on the World Series deal. So, you know, but we can't complain. We had a really good year. And, uh, yeah, we learned a lot the first year out on the road with this team. So, um, yeah, onward and upward, hopefully. So, yeah, a couple of a couple wins and a few podiums. Really, that was that last, the second last night before going to Quinana that, yeah, that sort of turned, was the time, it was the turning point, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. So, you know, like, uh, yeah, we heard the car had managed them up and we didn't think it was that bad. We got it straightened and put it back together and, you know, we just didn't qualify good the next night and that's, you know, that killed our weekend was pretty much over and uh, Robbie Robbie was, um, you know, pretty much clear sailing for him to take the championship then. So, but, you know, like I said, uh, we learned a lot of lessons, so uh, a lot of things we wouldn't do again, but uh, we can't race in hindsight. That's definitely, that's definitely true, but also looking at, yeah, why you didn't qualify well on that Friday night, I think everyone could sort of tell maybe the car wasn't quite the way you would have liked it, which because yeah, usually you're just about top quick time this time this year. Yeah, you know, like to be in the top ten pretty much every night and then yeah. you know, not even make the top yeah. thirty, you know, we just yeah, we pretty much knew then that uh, we should have changed the car, should have put a new one together, but uh, yeah, just the car just wasn't happy. But um, like I said, you know, you live and learn and uh, next time we won't make the same mistake. Definitely. Well looking at the team yeah, tell us a bit more about it and are you staying together next year, same sponsors? Yeah, it's all uh, pretty much at this stage everything's okay. uh, gonna roll along again. You know, uh, the guys looking to upgrade the equipment, you know, we're going to sell off our stuff around this year and okay. um, hopefully start with another new car again next year and uh, yeah, you know, some, I think sponsors are coming on board again, Andrew from Mainline uh, indicated that he'd like to continue his support and Mansell's as well, so you know, Coral Motorsports looks like everything will uh, tick along again for another year, so that's, that's good for us, you know, good for the team, good for me as a driver. Definitely, so you're with the Eagles this year, will you stay with them next year? Yep, you? definitely, yeah, yeah. We'll, um, yeah, we had a lot of success with them, you know, okay. we're pretty happy with them. Um, Probably a few little things will change over the season that we've, you know, found we didn't quite like, but um, you know, but that's just uh, that's just time and you know, and, and going to different tracks and uh, and learning, you know, we a lot of things we we thought we'd probably do different in certain tracks, so uh, at least when we go back there next year, we'll know. So it's uh, yeah, it's good. So you're one of the few drivers to really take that next step. So not just getting World Series win, but really starting to push the likes of Fari and Max and Tatnell next year. What do you want? Do you want a bit more, no doubt? <laughs> oh, yeah, obviously it'd be good to go one better, wouldn't it? But, yeah. um, you know, it's the same thing again. You know, it's got to put consistent nights together. You know, uh, you know, Robbie did a really good job. He was just consistent every night. You know, they, they had trouble here in, uh, in the heat races for the first round, but they got the car back together and made the feature and got a win, you know, and that's uh, every night that's what you've got to do. It's all about uh, points and being consistently up front. Um, you know, we did that a little bit, but just not quite enough. And like I said, you know, this, we just, it was a good learning year for us. And, uh, you know, it's... Um, I think you know we can only uh, get better, hopefully, and uh, you know maybe push for a, for a win in the series. That'd be great. So you had a pretty good weekend last weekend as well, I believe, down south. Yeah, you know we got a uh, win South Australian title win yep. with the Downing car. Uh, that was really good for those boys. So yeah. um, we've been fast all year in their car too. You know we've only got a couple of wins. Yeah, a bit a little bit unlucky in, in some places, but uh, you know it's good to get another South Australian title for those guys. They put they put everything into it. So yeah, we had a good run. I believe a track championship as well because due to the rain, the few rainouts down there. Yeah, well, it's a, a, for the Murray Bridge. It's only a four race series anyway, okay. and uh, you know we um, pretty much won every every feature race there, apart from one. You know, um, so it's pretty handy. Yeah, <laughs> well, to all we had least. To, yeah, all we had to do was start the feature. Um, yeah, to lock the, the track title in the in the bag, but uh, we actually blew their motor in the heat race, and uh, luckily for us, Billy Burrows uh, lent us one of his. He actually uh, had it in Glen Sutherland's truck there, and um, so yeah, we got really lucky there. Um, you know, and everything sort of went our way. Then uh, won the dash and ended up winning the feature. So. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, everything rolled around pretty nice. One of those nights where, not, apart from an engine trouble, not really too much went wrong. The car handled pretty well all night, and yeah, it was good. Well, Dave, it's great to have you up here in Brisbane, even though you're yeah, not down south, but uh, you might be the first guy to get the 10 seconds tonight, and good luck to it. No worries. Thanks, mate. I'm Clinton Cook reporting for Sprint Car World. Thanks for watching.